<laughs> Suck his what? Oh. oh, I thought he was talking about his pee-pee. I don't even want to try and pronounce the title of this movie because I would say the jerk, but you Americans would say jerk. <laughs> I think I'm saying it wrong. The jerk or the jerk. I think that's what he is because it's Steve Martin and he's a goofball. I've seen him in the Father of the Bride movies. It is the same person, isn't it? He has white hair and he's pretty funny. This was a bit of a carry on getting to this movie, let me tell you. So originally this was meant to be Doctor Strange Love. Ah, Doctor Strange Love. I watched it and I'm going to blame that um, sinus infection. I didn't understand it or I understood it but I didn't find it funny. Little bits I found funny um, and it just wasn't a great reaction at all uh, and I did it I went right the way through and then I was editing it and I was like you know what this is shit so we scrapped it I scrapped it before I finished editing it so I've made time to watch the jerk also I forgot because this one tied with Alien in the Hit the Decade poll. I said that if I had time I would do them both and then I completely forgot that I said that. So I did another poll asking for three completely new movies and then I remembered that I said that so I was like okay well we'll just do the jerk then. So here we are. That was the journey to this destination. So um, please don't suggest Doctor Strange Love because I watched it already and I um, it's just it's not there anymore. It's gone. I got rid of it. I thought maybe I'd lost my ability to find things funny, but then I watched my cousin Finney and I laughed a lot. So I think I'm fine. That just maybe wasn't my kind of movie. We'll go with that. Anyway, if you like this video, then please give it a great, great, great big thumbs up. If you want to stick around, I want you to, then please also subscribe. It's free and everyone likes something for free. You know what's not free? Patreon. <laughs> That's the way to sell it. But what you are paying for is early access, full reactions, my awesome chat, polls, keeping me right because I get confused a lot and my patrons are awesome for keeping me right. So yeah, do that. And let's just watch Steve Martin in, is it Steve Martin? It's not Martin Steve, is it? Okay, now I don't think that's his name. The Jerk or Jerk. I'm going to find out because they'll have to say it in the movie. And play. That's him there, I think. Just a younger version. He hasn't got his white hair. The jerk, see? Ted Wells, power and the love of a beautiful woman. Yeah? Now, I only have two things. His friends. My friends, my thermos. Oh, yeah, you have a thermos. It's really hard for me to say jerk. I overpronounced the air. Uh... My story? Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> You poor black child. No, you wasn't. I can relate. If I found this family, I would be straight in there. Someone adopt me, please. I'm so confused. I thought uh, a jerk was like a like a dickhead, but he's just stupid. Looks like. Gee, Mom. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. God bless us, everyone. Naven. Is it Nathan or Naven? It's your birthday and it's time you knew. You're not our natural born child. Oh, he didn't know. You mean I'm gonna stay this color? <laughs> stay this color. I'd love you if you were the color of a baboon's ass. Yeah. That's it, darling. Is he hitting her? You getting the rhythm, see? Oh, I don't think I've ever had a Twinkie before in my whole life. What do they taste like? Oh, I don't like feet. But he's getting it. Get your other hand. What oh, I, <laughs> I messed up there. Oh, it's in the grandma's room. Is that normal to sleep with music on? Not for me. What's he gonna be? Now that you're going out into the world, there's uh, something you should know. Mm-hmm. About girls. That shit. That shit. <laughs> Shinola. Shinola. Shit. Shinola. 
Watch Shinola. Yeah, what town are you going to try for first? Oh, and he walks right through it. What's he a working man. Lord loves a working man. Working man. Don't never, ever trust Whitey. Trust who? Lord loves a working man, don't trust Whitey. Who? Okay, okay, let the boy go. Does he have any money or belongings or anything? I hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. I don't think he knows what he's looking for. I know it's out there. It's out there, all right. If you catch it, see a doctor and get rid of it. <laughs> How long is he going to stand there for? I want to show to Miss Maven. It's still excited about you. I wonder if he's doing all right. Hey, Maven! How you doing? Don't worry about me. I think I see a car coming. Told you. How far are you going? St. Louis, how far are you going? To the end of this fence. <laughs> <laughs> then what are you gonna do? Thanks for the company. You'd be as well just walking home. Start again tomorrow. I hope I can repay you someday. <laughs> they can hear him. Oh, he's getting there. He's getting somewhere. Oh yay! Is he gonna get the hoggy? A fire? Yeah, yeah. Fire? That's not what he said. Hey, Mister. Don't call that dog lifesaver. Call him shithead. Shithead. St. Louis? No, Maven Johnson. <laughs> He's keeping the dog. My key is for customers who buy gas. I'm buying gas. Oh, look at this. And my wife wanted me to stay home today. Look what I would have missed. <laughs> you can't use petal for a lighter, can you? And don't walk away with it. I want. What, the, what? Is that where the key was on? Listen, you want to be president of Texaco Oil? Sure. Then clean up the sink in there. Then I'll be president of Texaco Oil? What if I happen to work in your way up? <laughs> I don't work here. Not even for dollar ten an hour? He says yes, I think. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I would trust him to work for me. I don't want to say how much I'm getting, but let's just say it's a lot. I'm enclosing $2. That's a good boy. That's not a lot for them, is it? It can't be. He's teaching me how to be impatient. How to be impatient. Come with me. I got a beautiful little place for you to stay. I love it! You got the toilet here? This must be the kitchen? No? That's not what... I'll just elevate this about There's six There's a man inches, peeing there. Two rooms ...and yet still have that flow. Oh, he never washed his hands. I couldn't afford this anyway. <laughs> it's perfect! I won't have to change this at all! How much is this gonna cost me? Nothing. When you're rich and famous, you'll send me a postcard. Hmm, that's awfully kind of him. Now, this is the first time I'm leaving you alone on a Sunday. If anything should happen to this station, this woman would leave me like a... Oh, she's agreeing. Guard this station with your life, because my sex life is in your hands. Sex life, got it. We just want some gas. Okay, but it's Sunday, we gotta have a credit card. And all the cash is locked up. Oh, no, not locked up. We got a lot of cash. Oh, shh. Because I'm here all alone for the first time. I don't want anything to happen. No. Mrs. Nussbaum? I'm Mr. Nussbaum. Then gets his wife's car. Yeah, vouch for him. Okay, as long as we got a voucher. <laughs> a voucher. <laughs> Stolen. Why is he dressed like that? <laughs> oh my god, he's run. <laughs> Mrs. Nussbaum's credit card. I got the guys who stole it. Hold on, they're calling me. I'll be right back. They're calling me? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I can keep them here. I saw this trick in a movie. Saw this trick in a movie? That's his trick. <laughs> yeah, whatever your plan is, I don't think it's a good one. We'll take the money you got in your pocket. <laughs> you want a free oven mitt. I'll go get it for you. An oven mitt. They're not going to want that. <laughs> How? How? How does that even happen? I can't make out the license number, but uh, I'd be pulling a small church. A <laughs> small church. Johnson! Maven, R, I'm somebody now. Oh, he's in the phone book. Your name in print that makes people. <laughs> I think I felt the same when my name was in the phone book. Things are going to start happening to me now. Yes. 
I believe you. Johnson, Navin R. Sounds like a typical bastard. <laughs> what? Looks good to me, sir, but I'd like your opinion. Damn these glasses. Damn these glasses! Sir! I can fix those glasses! How does he know how to fix glasses? And why is he just shooting random people? So I put a little handle right here in the center. Plus I put a little nose brake on him here to prevent slippage. Try it. Quite clever. Well, I'll be. Yeah. You look stupid, but your glasses will stay on. What is that? Motor oil. Hey, Harry. Look at this. <laughs> What's the matter with these cans? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have defective cans, we have a defective bike out there! He hates these cans! Stay away from the cans! <laughs> he hates the cans! The cans! There's cans in there too! <laughs> he doesn't want to put holes in the cans, he wants to put holes in you! Yeah. What? Oh god. Oh, that's someone's car. Suck my toes! Suck your what? Suck his what? Oh my god! You can't, you can't drive a car when it has no tires. Come on! Why is he kept the name? It's so cool shit. Closed is four dollars and seventy-five cents for my loving family. P.S. Is Grandma still farting? Is Grandma still farting? That was like four hours of work. He just said, "Is Grandma still farting?" Wow, on that chalal. Oh, he's gonna fall in love with her. I shouldn't do anything. I can do that. And that. Give me a bite of that corn dog. What about germs? Put a rubber on it. Uh. Lovely. Just looking around here, I can tell you're a genuinely dirty person. What do I do with this? Oh, you keep it there. <laughs> no, you keep it there. <laughs> Where's your garbage? <laughs> Everywhere. You know what I'd like to do? What? Guess your weight. This will give me a whole different perspective on this. Hey, you're really trying to be accurate. Is it getting hot in here? <laughs> Wait a minute! What's happening to my special purpose? <laughs> special purpose is for gosh what a great time i had the whole family could have been here with me <laughs> no i intend to do this a lot no every chance i get not with your family though i think next week i'll be able to send more money as i may have extra work oh my, my God. friend patty promised me a blow job <laughs> And he's got the kisses here. God bless him. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> is he the only one that knows what that is? Look at my ass. Gosh, you have my last name tattooed right there under the J's. I'll bet more people see that than the phone book. What? Why she got her what? last name? Johnson. On her ass. I don't get it. It says bullshit on it. You train. <laughs> Just run. You're faster than the train. Thank you so much. It would have been so embarrassing to go home without Billy. Embarrassing. Your gloves and your oil can and your wallet. Oh, and this fell out. Oh, that's a condom. <laughs> Those guys. Who <laughs> are <What> guys? <laughs> Would it be too much if I asked for a kiss? Oh. Oh. Uh. These are real little dickens. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Oh, them too, eh? Maybe you might want to go out with them. <laughs> 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 
time. I want to go out. Are you okay? Are you trying to ask me for a date? Yes, he is. What's your name? Marie. What's yours? I'll tell you tomorrow. It'll give us something interesting to talk about. What, your name? It's quite an interesting name, to be fair. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Uh-oh. That's what's gonna happen to you if I ever catch you looking at another broad. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, she likes him. You have beautiful skin. May I? <laughs> so smooth and flexible. <laughs> Amazing the way it just snaps back like that. <laughs> Now be totally honest, you do have a boyfriend, don't you? Kind of. Oh, she does. How did you know? Do you think the next time you make love to your boyfriend, you could think of me? Oh, God. Maybe you and he can make love and you could think of me. I'd just be happy to be in there somewhere. I'd like... <laughs> I'd like to see that. Oh, God. What the hell? Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. You farm boy. Are they? Oh yes, I thought she was gonna do that. You protected me. You must really like me. Not anymore, I don't think. Oh, it's them singing. <laughs> oh, she does really like him. That's my kind of date. Walking along the beach, singing. Go for it. Beautiful. I had the craziest fantasy that I could rise up right down the end of this cornet, right along this tube, come right up against your lips and give you a kiss. Oh, I thought he was talking about his pee pee. I didn't. Oh, I didn't want to get spit on me. <laughs> What's going on? I really do want to kiss you. Why don't you? I'm afraid. I would have kept my tongue in. <laughs> my mother sacrificed everything to send me through cosmetology school. To marry someone. Someone with a special purpose. I've got one! Oh. I've got a special purpose! Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot that's what I called it. Sure, your special purpose then. You look so beautiful and peaceful. You almost look dead. Maybe she is. There's something I want to say that's always been very difficult for me to say. I slid the sheet, the sheet I slid, and on the slitted sheet I sit. <laughs> I know we've only known each other for four weeks and three days, but to me, it seems like nine weeks and five days. First day seemed like a week, and the second day seemed like five days, and the third day seemed like a week again. <laughs> On the sixth day in the evening when we saw each other. It's a good job she's asleep. On into the seventh day. It seemed like a total of five days. Okay, that's enough. I have it written down, but I can I can show it to you tomorrow. Show it to you tomorrow. <laughs> I'd love to see that. There's a question I've been wanting to pop, but I've been afraid you'd say no. But this seems like the right time and place. It's not the right time. Will you marry me? <laughs> Yahoo! Get in that tub with me! Shithead. I love that name. Oh no. I can't even slightly make out what that says. He's gone. What did you do? Why did you leave me? I couldn't read the letter. It was Bloody hell, I think you had time to put a dress and gown on. No, Marie. you can't do Marie. that. That's a random person's dog. It's way up your bum crack. <laughs> it's a good job you were in the bath. Get out of here. Okay, okay, you win. You can go with me. <laughs> to win the hand of Marie. <laughs> Love her, Ma. She looks just He's gonna choke him to death. The hospital gives out free meals of orange juice and cookies, and all I have to do is give them a pint of blood. Oh, for God's sake, how often is he doing that? Three times a day. I decided to quit when I cut myself shaving, and nothing came out but tears. <laughs> Oh, 
Royal. <rire> It opens. Of course it does. I have to sign before you shoot me? I'm not gonna shoot you. I was a little mixed up at that time. That's very I had a bad marriage and I just gave up smoking. Just gave up smoking. I'm a private detective. Please call on me in suite 2655 at the Century Plaza Tower. Fox! Stan Fox! Remember huh? the gas station? Oh yeah! A one hard guy to find! That's who it is. <laughs> You don't remember me. There's this glasses thing with a hook on the nose. Oh, yeah. My glasses hand. Use the OptiGrab. OptiGrab? Yeah, we call it OptiGrab. Look at the state of that glasses. I have your first check for 250 big ones. Is that it? There's got to be more. Lots more. I can use money. Yeah. Yes, I have a cashier's <laughs> check. 250 big ones. <laughs> 250 donuts. You want to cash this? What, what did it say? 250 what? I will need two pieces of identification. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. My <laughs> temporary driver's license and my astronaut application form. Your what? And pass that. Oh, I failed everything but the date of birth. Everything but the day of birth. Everything's in order. I don't, you'll, uh, that doesn't count. You can't yeah. accept that as uh, a pen, identification, pen, surely. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Two hundred fifty thousand. Guess what? I'm rich beyond my wildest dreams. Oh, I sent him a postcard. Here's that postcard I promised you. <laughs> I bet you thought you'd never get. Look at the feather in his eye. Oh my God. Like <laughs> oh, you're not gonna miss him, are you? Of course. <laughs> Bet you're glad you stayed now, shithead. Mrs. Kimball? You're Marie's mom! I've been trying to contact her, I don't know where she is. Yeah, where did she go? The May Company in Los Angeles. Now, doesn't that feel good? There, now we are complete. Oh, I hear her. We can go pick out an eyeshadow and lip tint for him. And you will look beautiful. Let's try everything. You look miserable. Ah, let's go unmask Irving. We are now <laughs> going to peel off our mask of Irving. Irving's skin. <laughs> Look at his shifty eyes. He will be a different man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jeez, a different man. This shit really worked. Uh -huh. Oh my sweetheart. Oh. Why did you leave him? Husband, you Miss Blondie. I'm Irving. Are you crazy? Luckily, we found someone at the Hollywood Beautiful. But why did you leave him? <laughs> was that hanging from him? I think it was a chicken. Remember my dream of owning a big house on a hill? Mm-hmm. And how I always wanted a large 24-seat dining table? 24? And remember how I always wanted a rotating... <laughs> I don't think you wanted any of that. Remember how much I wanted an all-red billiard room? That doesn't sound like things he would want. And remember how much I wanted a big backyard with Grecian statues? Well, I got that too. Are you going to take your family to see? Pastor took some money out of her savings account and had to pay a substantial penalty. Yeah, what happened to you? Federal mind? regulations, sir. Federal regulations? Uh, I suppose I'm still not quite over Hester's death. Oh, it just happened. See that? Be somebody. <laughs> There's some charity people here to see you, sir. Send them away! There's a lot of people more deserving than me! These people want you. Yeah, they want your money, silly. So that you can see some film of a great ugliness. Okay. Oh, God. I'll bet it's disgusting. Are you over your grief enough yet to dim the lights? Oh, of course, sir. Well, one can't mourn forever. <laughs> one can't mourn forever. I hope you have a strong stomach, senor. I do. Don't do anything to the cats. I've heard about this cat juggling. Oh, cat juggling. It wouldn't work. They would claw the crap out of you. Your initial investment 
is a half a billion dollars, you should have X amount of dollars rolling in by the end of this year. X amount. X amount. That's very good, isn't it? We found a way to get around this fair housing crap. Ah, good. Getting around the crap. Is he just always in that robe then, all the time now? Oh, of course. They'll eat the vegetables. Yeah, he doesn't have a clue what you're talking about. But we'll keep them out. <gasps> oh, don't say that. Don't say that to him. You are talking to an... <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> well, at least he's kicking ass. <laughs> What's in there? How could you know that was Iron Balls McGinty? Who? Bring us some fresh wine. This year's no more of this old stuff. We oui, monsieur. You want the crap stuff then? Just keep your eyes up and keep them that way, okay? Look up. There are snails on her plate. <laughs> Now get them out of here before she sees them. <laughs> she saw them. Oh, wait, keep your eyes that way. She saw them. First they didn't have the bamboo umbrellas for the wine, and now snails are the food. <laughs> two boobs. That's what he takes us for. Two boobs. I see two boobs. <laughs> How'd they lose all his money? And she ne still never said why she left them in the first place. And why is his family not came and saw his, all his riches and his new house and everything? Oh, this is going to be a... He'll have said something bad. When Optograb came out, I thought it was the greatest thing ever. And I bought a pair. And this is the result. Uh-oh. This little handle is like a magnet. Your eyes are constantly drawn to it, and you end up cockeyed. Uh-oh. As a director, I am constantly using my eyes. Stop using my eyes. Let me show you a clip from my latest film where my faulty depth perception kept me from yelling cut at the proper time. <laughs> <laughs> if I had yelled cut on time, those actors would be alive today. So that's what happened. I award Mr. Reiner and the other 9,987,652 plaintiffs the full amount of the suit. Shit. He's a jerk. Oh, he's one too. I can't do that with my eyes. <laughs> You're a bit drunk. Maybe stop. Go to sleep. Why are you crying? And why are you wearing that old dress? Because I just heard a song on the radio that reminded me of the way we were. What was it? The way we were. <laughs> I just want you like you used to be. Yeah, but you left him when the, when he was like that. I tell you, that's the only thing I need is this. What is that? I don't need this or this. This is an ashtray. Just an ashtray? Why is your trousers hurting your ankles? What do you think I have? Some kind of a jerk or something? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's crying with his pants down. Oh, they're shithead. I my dog. Your dog doesn't want you. I don't need my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, there's your thermos. Yeah, oh, he traded all his stuff for a thermos. So, that's it. It's an old story, one you've probably heard before, but I never thought it would happen to me. Why didn't you just go home? Hey, any of you bums ever heard of Nathan R. Johnson? Yeah, the one in the middle. I saw his dad. How'd you find me? I don't know. This is the first place we looked. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Picked out this thermos for you. That was a hobo's thermos. It doesn't bother me, but the smell does. Oh, <laughs> David. <laughs> <laughs> is it just... <laughs> I think it's just been a day, is it not? <laughs> 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 I can't smell that bad. I remember the days when I sang and danced with my family on the porch of the old house. Yay! That's it. We had to tear down the old house even though we loved it. But we built us a bigger one. Not much bigger. Oh, look at him now. 
<laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the moves now. <laughs> oh, that was good. Well, that was good. I really enjoyed that one. Much better than Dr. Strange Love. This one, though. I don't know why it's called the jerk. Should have been like the moron or something. The dumbass. It reminded me of like Airplane and the Naked Gun movies. Which reminds me, I still haven't seen Airplane 2. Is that worth watching? I really liked um, Steve Martin. So let me know more movies that he's in. Apart from The Father of the Brides, because I've seen them. And I think it's him that's in Cheaper by the Dozen, so I've seen that too. That's the chick flick movies. It was funny, it was random, and it was silly. The three best things you can have in a movie. Unless it's like John Wick and then we need the action and the shooting and the killing people with a pencil. But yeah, for the comedies, that's what we like. It's just a whole heap of stuff thrown together and making everyone laugh. My face is aching because my smiling and laughing muscles were used a lot. I do like these kinds of movies, so keep them coming. They're really easy to watch. I don't need to um, use my concentrating brain, just my laughing brain. I really want a dog now and I want to call it Shithead. I've always wanted a dog, but I've never wanted to call it Shithead. Okay, two things. More Steve Martin movies. I keep saying Steve Martin and it doesn't sound right coming out of my mouth. Like that's not his name. Number two. Um, more movies like that. That would be fine. And I'm gonna go. Because now I'm in a happy mood. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm gonna go away and be happy and do happy things. If you like this video, please, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning on sticking around, then please subscribe. And if you could, please head over to Patreon as well. Just have a look, see what you can see. I'll love you and leave you, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you again so much for watching. Goodbye.